beautiful day in the neighborhood. I hope your area is beautiful too. They said it was gonna rain today, but they lied a little bit. But look, how y'all doing? Y'all doing good? Okay, You're not too good today. Okay, tomorrow Friday is payday for most people, so it might be better tomorrow, okay? But look, y'all, we got an easy uh, uh, crock pot meal today. But before we get into it, let's go ahead and do the housekeeping. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also, hit the bell to be notified, y'all, so you can know when I come on and stuff and stuff. But look, today we're going to do just a little side item. It can be for, you know, the little holidays coming up. You can throw it in the crock pot, forget about it, and work on the other stuff you're going to do for the holidays, okay? So right now, uh, I got some frozen corn off into this crock pot right here, okay? You can use as much as you want to use. This is 32 ounces of frozen corn. Now, if you want to use canned corn, you can, but make sure you drain all the juices and stuff off because you don't want the water floating and out. It's just going to cause too much mess. But look, if you use the can, just drain it, okay? Then throw it off in there. But it's best to use frozen corn if you can. But if you can't, hey, use what you got at home. So let's go ahead. It's real simple. <laughs> it's too simple to even talk about, really. But look, we're going to put a block of cream cheese in there. Bam. <laughs> You can cut this up if you want to, but I, I'm like, it's going to melt anyway. Why cut it up? <laughs> but you can cut it up in little pieces and make it, you know, cuter. I'll look, make it look cuter for you now. Now, okay. Now we're going to put a half a stick of butter in there. Bam. And the same thing with that. <laughs> you can cut that up too. But why? I mean, say for instance, you're trying to get stuff ready. Who got time to be slicing stuff just because you might have to slice some stuff for your burgers, like some tomatoes, onions, and stuff like that. So, hey, just throw that junk in there. It's going to melt. Just stir it up occasionally and stuff. So, now we're going to put, this is some, uh, this is some, uh, some, uh, doggone heavy whipping cream. <laughs> y'all must make me mess up. Why y'all always trying to sabotage me when I'm just trying to share some witch and stuff? Some heavy whipping cream. This is like third of a cup. Boom, right there. Then you don't have to do this, but it's something you can add in some green chilies. Put the green chilies in there. Or if you like jalapenos, you could put some jalapenos in there. That tastes delicious in this, but I got some little wimps in the house, so I can't use jalapenos. <laughs> you know, so. The green chillers as far as I get to get all that. So this is like a third of a cup of sugar. Now listen, don't come for me. If you don't want no sugar in your corn, don't put it. This is not going to your household. We like sugar on our corn here, okay? So this is a third of a cup of sugar. Don't come for me. I promise don't come for me. <laughs> We're going to put a package of ranch seasoning in here. Y'all already know this gonna taste good. We ain't even stirred nothing up yet. Okay. Now you want to season. If you want to use your garlic powder, onion powder, whatever powder you want to put in there, you can put it in there. I don't like to put garlic powder, onion powder on my corn. So I'm going to put some black pepper. Season to your own taste. Some black pepper. And I'll put some, uh, some Old Bay seasoning on my corn. Okay. Put some Old Bay seasoning on now. Now, stir this thing up. It's froze. <laughs> it's froze, so, you know, I'm just trying to stir it up a little bit. But it don't matter because once it starts cooking, you can get a good stir in. I also sprayed my uh, crock pot with some Pam. Just to ensure nothing sticks. And it's frozen and it smells good. You don't believe me? I know you don't, but it do because the seasonings. <laughs> okay. Get that off in there good. And then we're gonna what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the top on. We're gonna cook this on low for four hours. But halfway between that, go ahead and take your little spoon, taste your corn, see if it's where it want, you want it to be. If you want it a little spicier, or if you want a little salt in it, or if you want a little more sugar, 
you know, just add to your taste. So halfway through when it's all, everything is melted together, go on and taste a little bit and then you can get it right before them people taste it because you don't want them people to say, who cooked this? <laughs> you don't want them to do that, okay? So go on and get it right and then let it finish cooking the rest of the way. But I'm gonna come back when it's halfway, okay? I'll be back. Okay, y'all. This has looking so far. You see it? Getting mixed off in there. Oh, she getting creamy. She is getting creamy. <laughs> and at this point, you can really kind of get a little taste test to see, you know, if your season is where you want it to be. You see her. She cute. She is cute. And just mix it in. You see how the uh, butter melted and the cream cheese. Look at her. Get up on now. You see her? We just gonna keep on cooking her for a little longer. Uh-huh. Now I'm gonna let her cook for a little longer. Finish cooking out and then uh we're gonna see how she look, okay? I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay, I did add some more seasoning to mine. I added uh, more uh, Old Bay seasoning, and I added some more pepper, and I put a little tinge of seasoned salt, a little tinge. But look at her. You see how creamy she looking? Look at her. And it's irresistible, I'm telling you. You're going to want to keep on digging off in now. You're going to want to keep on digging off in now. Now, you can add whatever you want. If you want to add some more uh, green chilies, you can. Like I said, a lot of my family members, they don't like a little kick in their stuff. So, I just added one can. But you can, you know, you can add two in there. Or add some jalapenos in there. You know, in whatever season. Make sure you taste this. Because you might need to add some more, you know, if you want to use Obey, add some more Obey, some seasoned salt or some black pepper or whatever you want to use because... You want to taste it before all them people come at your house because I don't want them to say, who did this coin? <laughs> you don't want them to say that. You want that tone to be like, oh, who, who did that coin, that crock pot coin? That's when you just step up, you know. You got to make sure that season right, okay? So this is how she looking right now. I'm going to go on a plate her up so you can see her. And, you know, she cute. I'll be back. Hey, y'all. I'm back and I'm finished with this cheesy corn. Go on, look at I ain't gonna hold you. Look at this cheesy corn. It's so flavorful, y'all. Like I said, it was easy. You can put that thing in a, pot, a crock pot while everything else is finishing cooking for the holidays. Throw your cream cheese in there. I throw that butter. And, you know, you you know, throw some seasoning in there with the, the green chilies. You done. Basically, let it do its thing. It's going to do its thing. <laughs> y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in with me, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you can be doing everything else, watching other people, all that stuff. But thank you for tuning in to me on this day, on this Thursday. Y'all, I hope y'all have a beautiful rest of the week. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also, hit the bell to be notified. I'm going to have uh, the recipe to this in the description. So, you can click on that more button and it'll have the description, you know, description of the uh, the recipe. <laughs> I had a recipe up in the, you know what I'm talking about. I had a recipe up in the description. Quit trying to, why y'all were trying to sabotage me and stuff? Don't do that. But now, y'all, just check the little description for the recipe. <laughs> but I love y'all. Please stay safe out there, and I'm going to see you again next time. Bye-bye.